Hey guys, Ron here with Tech Tips To Go. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do moving images or moving text or video animation using images or text, also known as keyframing or video animation in Final Cut Pro. So we're going to be using the latest version of Final Cut Pro. I think it is 10.4.x. So what we're going to do is first come over here to your Final Cut Pro window. And let's start from scratch and open up something brand new. So what we're going to do is come over here, file new, and let's just create a project. And we'll just call this video animation keyframing. We'll set it in 4K resolution. And let's start off with a white background. So let's go look for my white background. All right. So now we have a, a white background and let's say you wanted to do text. So the first thing you want to do here is come over here at the top left, come over to text and we're just going to create a, so let's go over here to titles and then underneath titles, what you're going to see is custom. So this I saw in another video, uh, that was kind of a little outdated, but I wanted to kind of create this one for 2020. Some things have changed, but the overall concept is the same. What you can do is just drag this over here to your timeline. Let's expand it and move this over so we can see it. And let's give it a different title. Let's call this video animation. Right, so we're gonna normal, you know, let's just create that normal. Let's do the size. We can do environment. Let's change the color a little bit. Let's change it to that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you get a little box over here when you're working in Final Cut Pro. So I like to use my timeline. And what I'm gonna first, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually transform this image. So I'm gonna transform this image. And as you can see right now, we get this little box. So if we wanna transform this image itself, you wanna make, come over your timeline, make sure that this is selected, not your white background. So what I'm gonna do is at this playhead right here. So I'm going to start video animation over here. And what I want it to do is come from this side, but you want to make sure that you still have visibility to it. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can either reduce your your fit the way it looks just to kind of drag it drag it over or you could just kind of just leave it right at the edge. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click this little button here and that's going to tell us that it's going to start in this position at this part of the clip and in this position. So we're going to click on that. And now you're going to scroll through to see how far you actually want your title to extend for. Let's say I, in, in the clip I wanted it that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend it to over here. And now you're going to figure out where do you want this to go? So when you're playing your timeline, let's say you want it to come all the way over to here. What you're going to do is move your playhead just around here towards the end. Now you want to click back on that image. And then you want to drag this to where you want. And you'll see a little arrow with a red line. And you can say, I'm going to drag it all the way to that corner. Just like that. And then you could select done. And that is it. Very straightforward. Now we can go back and then we can just press play and see how it looks. As you can see, it's taking a little longer. What we can do is we can shorten it, but as we scroll through, it's gonna go all the way in the corner. So that is how you use keyframing and how to quickly move 
items up or down or in a direction. I was trying to look for this on YouTube. I didn't know the exact terminology or keywords to use and I was just saying moving text left to right and I, I did find some videos that were like keyframing and video animation but a lot of the videos were kind of doing it the long way so I finally found this one video I forgot what it was called but it was it was outdated from like 2015 so I found out how to do it my way or you know the 2020 way and this was the fastest way if I wanted to take any image kind of animate it move it to the left or right add some music and then pop it in and pop it out make it disappear this is the way so let's let's do a recap here we're gonna add this title into our timeline or any it could be in any image you know let's let's delete this let's take this image here drag it over here bring it into our timeline stretch it out bring your playhead here we're gonna click on the transform we can kind of downsize this if we want so we're sorry we're going to transform this sorry we're going to bring that in we're going to transform this so we kind of reduced our window a little smaller so now we're going to transform this to get really small let's increase this view again that I just did this just so we can grab the images or grab the corners easier. So now we, we want to start this image over here, kind of way back in the corner, like this. And now we're going to click on this button to say this is a starting point. And now we're going to move the image all the way over here. And now we're going to move it up. Let's try this. We're going to move it up. You'll see that red line. And that's it. And you need to just press done. And now we can play it. It's a little slow. If I want to make it faster, I could just shorten this clip length. And then as you can see, it'll go faster. So there's a, a, some ways to make this faster. Um, some people like to do it you know there's multiple ways of doing this but I'm going to show you one way that I like to do it I like to do control A I'm just going to make this one compound clip I'm going to right click create a new compound clip call it whatever name you want so now you can see in your playhead if you do a command plus you could actually see the area where this is starting and if you want to make this faster because right now it's kind of slow so what you'll see is that it's it's kind of doing that All right so what you can do is multiple different options you can blade this out so just press B and then blade it out where it's starting now you could select press A and you could just drag that up and this will join and then now what you can do is now that this is highlighted you just come over here and then just go to fast and then you could you know blade uh, fast speed and you could do 20 right and then I'll just show you now what it does right so you could extend it so that is it um, you know multiple ways you can make it stop you could play around with uh, the animation of what I just showed you just make sure that you have that little that little icon on the top left and you should be good to go play around with it you know you could blade you could cut um, you can move the image around here change the speed if you want but anyways that's how you work with moving images or moving text as they call it or some people call it keyframing video animation so anyways I hope you liked the video hope it wasn't too long if you did like the video please subscribe support the channel and I'll see you in the next video thanks